I think then you have Form Labs, which is less than half of the cost. It's a very good economic option that prints very well. And traditionally with Form Labs, the printer was closed, meaning you could only use five or six resins with it. Now they've opened it up, so that makes it very interesting. I think then you have Sprint Ray. Everyone knows Sprint Ray. If you're interested in 3D printing and you haven't heard of Sprint Ray, I don't know if you, you're interested enough because it's everywhere. And I think Sprint Ray, especially with the Midas, is really focused on chair side printing. It's a totally different idea. Capsules like Nespresso, no build platform, no nothing. It's just capsules and it's small. It's easy to start. It's, I think Sprint Ray is a premium printer. They, they charge 10,000, which is, I expected more from Midas. But, you know, it's not like 5,000 like the formats. And then I would say you have your economic options, such as Frozen, such as the shiny 3D printer, which to me, they're very good printers. Again, every printer works. They don't quite have the same level, I would say, as workflow. And I agree in terms of Form Labs, like you mentioned, I think one thing that Form Labs does very well is it's the support and the reliability. The software is very easy to use and it's, it's a very reliable printer.